In this video, how to deploy 40 client VPN using Microsoft Intune. The first and recommended method is to deploy it using the Win32 app type. First, download the installer of the app from the official website. You can fill out the form to download the file, or you can download it directly from this link. Open the downloaded file to actually download the MSI installer. At this screen, click the cancel button to interrupt the installation. We only need the MSI installer. Next, open the temp folder. Sort by the date modified, then open the installation log file for 40 client. From the log file, you can find the location of the offline MSI installer. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the Intune Win format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file to your computer. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file intunewinaputil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, rename the downloaded file to setup.msi. Then, Copy it to the input folder that we created in the previous steps. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into a .intune file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Next, open the Intune Win app util tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file in the input folder. And the path of the output folder for the generated Intune Win file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic, creating the Intune Win file for us. Once done, Go to the output folder to verify that the Intune Win file is being created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app deployment.
From the drop-down menu, select Windows App Win32 as the app type. For the app package file, select the output in tune file that you created. On the app information page, enter the required details such as the name of the app, a description, and the publisher's name. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. This logo is displayed in the company portal, making it easier for users to recognize the app. On the program page, all settings are pre-configured, so you can leave them as default. On the requirements page, configure the conditions that devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the operating system architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed on managed devices. You can either use a custom detection script or manually configure a detection rule. In this video, we'll use the manual rule type. Select MSI as the rule type to verify based on the app product code. The MSI product code will be populated automatically. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure Supersedes to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the Assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it when they need without the administrative right. Use the Uninstall Deployment option if you want to remove the app from the managed devices automatically. You can select Add All Devices or All Users option to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify the app deployment, log in to a managed device and allow time for system sync. You can manually trigger a sync from the Windows settings, the company portal, or by restarting the computer. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been successfully installed automatically. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page. This page provides a graphical breakdown, including devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to update in the Intune Admin Center, so be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it automatically. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. 
Remove the group from the required section and add it to the uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. The second method is to deploy the app as a line of business app in Intune. This method is simpler but offers fewer options for controlling the deployment. You only need to download the MSI installer and deploy it directly through Intune without converting it using the Intune Win32 app utility. Log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app as usual. From the drop down menu, select the Line of Business app option. This app type supports the MSI format, which we'll use. Select the MSI installer file you previously downloaded. Some necessary fields will be populated automatically. You only need to fill in the publisher's name and optionally upload a logo for the company portal. On the Assignments page, choose how the app will be deployed. For instance, I'll choose to make the app available to enrolled devices, allowing users to install it easily through the company portal. Click Create button and wait for the app to upload to Microsoft Intune. As you can see, the app will not be installed automatically. Instead, users can decide when they want to install the app manually from the company portal. To uninstall the app from devices, shift the targeted group to the Uninstall section, similar to the Win32 app method. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.